given two sorted linked list, how can you write a recursive program to merge these two sorted linked list into one and return the new head? That's today's video. Let's get into it. My name is Steve. Today we are going through legal problem 21, merge two sorted lists. And today we are going through the recursive solution. If you want to check out how the iterative solution should be written and how it works, feel free to check out the video that we published from yesterday. That one describes how the iterative solution works. For today, we'll focus on how the recursive solution is going to work. Let's quickly go through the problem description again. Give merge two sorted linked list and return it as a new list. The new list should be made by, by splicing together the nodes of the first two lists. So given these two linked lists, 124 and 134, the final new result after merging these two sorted links, two sorted linked list becomes 112344. How can we do this? So suppose we are given these two linked lists, 1235 now, 246. So first we are given access to these two hat nodes, L1 and L2. The first line of the method is going to be, we'll check whether L1 equals to now. If, if L1 equals to now, we'll just return L2, that's it. And also, if L2 equals to now, we'll just return L1. Either one of these two cases, right, we'll just return the other linked list. These put these two conditions over there, and also these two conditions are the base cases for the recursive call. So for this recursive function, we actually don't need to write a helper function. We can just use the main function itself. Now, what's next? If neither one of these two linked list had nodes are now, that means we can do comparison, right? Then we can check whether the node pointed by L1 is greater or smaller than or equal to the node pointed at by L2. So we'll check if L1.val is smaller than L2.val. If L1 is smaller than L2, Next step, what are we going to do is we'll move L1 towards the right. So this is the recursive form. Merge two lists. Don't worry if you feel confused. We'll step through one by one. So, but for now, let's just take a look at the code. I'll put the code out here first. So if L1 is smaller than L2, what we'll do is that we'll, we'll move L1 towards the right. Next, in the else case, what's the else condition? Else condition is if L1 dot val is greater than l2.val or equal to l2.val because here I put a, a, the example here, there are two equal nodes, right? So in this case, 2, 2 is going to go to the else branch. This is the final actual code, which is going to be accepted. Then let's, let's analyze how the code is actually being executed. So first, for any recursive call, the computer is going to allocate a call stack in the computer. Then let's take a look how the call is going to flow. First, merge two lists here. We'll just uh, pump this call into the call stack. Remember, this is the L1 and L2. These are the two nodes noted in purple color. Now it comes in. It comes in. L1 is not equal to now. L2 is not equal to now. So it's not going to come into either one of these two branches. What it will come to is come to into here. Because L1 is smaller than L2, right? 1 is smaller than 2. It's going to come into this branch. Then it will come here, merge two lists, which is this call. See, now it's calling itself recursively. Before it calls this function itself, it's using a different par parameter. It's using l1.next, which is this value, right? Which is this value. Let's see. So by calling this, we added another function call in on top of the call stack, on top of this one, right? This is the second function call. At this point, this L1 is this one, noted in this color. Now next, where is this one is going to go into, get into, L1 and L2. L1 is here, L1, L2 is here. Both of them are not now, so it's not going there. So it's going into the else branch, right? Because L1 equals to L2 is in the else branch. So now it's going to execute this recursive call again. Now, what's going to happen? L2 is going to move towards the right. Let's see. So L2 moves towards the right. So L2 moves towards the right is here. So now this is the L1 and L2. We're trying to get the pointer that's correct that should be appended to L2.next. This L2 is this one. We're trying to get the correct one here. Then we need to call this recursive function, right? So now we're at the beginning of the recursive call again. This is the third one on top of the, on the call stack. So we come in, none of them is now. So L1 is smaller than L2, 2 is smaller than 4, right? So it comes in here. So then 
fourth recursive call is going to happen. This is the fourth recursive call. It's going to call this merged to this. Then L1 is here. L1 is pointed at the node with value 3. It moves towards the right. And then what are we going to do? L1 is here. L2 is here. None of them is now, so it comes here. Because L1, 3 is smaller than L2, 4. So it comes here. Now recursive happens again. Let's see. L1 moves towards the right, right? L1 dot next. L1 moves towards right. It's, it's indicated by this dark red color. So this is L1 at this point, right? So we see L1 and L2, 5 and 4. So at this point, 5 is greater than 4. So it's going to come here. It's going to come here, right? So it's comparing 5 and 4. Again, we'll do the recursive call. Add one more on, to, on top of the call stack. So it's moving L2 this time towards the right. So L2 is here. L1, L1 is still pointed at the node with value 5. Recursive call again. None of them is now. Continue. L1 is 5, L2 is 6. 5 is smaller than 6, so one more recursive call. This is the last one. So you see here, now we're at the base condition. We're at the exit case, right? So now we reach the base condition. So L1 is equal to now, right? So finally we've got here, L1 equals to now. What are we going to do? We're just to pop everything on top of the call stack, off of the call stack. That's what's going to happen because we find merge to this L1 here. This is the dark green color pointed by this L1. This one is the base condition. We're going to return L2. L2 is here. This is the light green one. Light green one is here. So the results of merge to this is return L2. L2 is here. So we'll return L2 to L1 dot next. This is what's going to happen. We're going to return L2. Return here. After we pop that off, this L1 is gone. And we assign L2, L2 is here, L2 is here. We assign L2 to L1.next. This is L1.next. So this link is cut off. And the new link, this L1.next, is next pointer is pointing at the number, the node with value 6. This is what it's, it's doing, right? So then we return. Now we'll just continue. That one is popped off of the call stack. We'll execute this one. Remember, this one is L1 and L2. By this color, by this dark red, this L1, and light green. Light green is here. Light green is here. So these two will compare which one is smaller. The node with value 5 is smaller. So we'll assign this one to L2.next. This is L2.next. We're trying to solve, we're trying to find the node with the value. That should be appended to L2.next. L2.next is here. Next step is going to cut this link off and append it to the node with value 5. Right? That's what's going to happen. Then this node is popped off of the call stack. We now have L1 and L2 over here. This is the one that we returned. Next, continue. That one is popped off of the stack. Now we're trying to find between this L1, this L1 is here, this L2 is here. We're trying to find the one, which one is smaller? This one is smaller. L2 is smaller, right? So L2 is smaller. Then we we'll just use L2. To append this L2 to L1.next, this L1 is here, L1.next, so that this link used to be from, from 3 to 5 is cut off. Now 3.next is pointing to the node with value 4. Next, that call stack is popped off. Now we're at L1 and L2 is here. L1, light green, and L2, this red color here. Which one is smaller? 3 is smaller. So we'll use this one, which is the link here. This link, we'll use will assign L1 to be pointed by this L1.next. Now this merge to list is L1 and L2. So now these two colors, L1 and L2, they are here. L1 and L2. Which one is smaller? L1 is smaller. So we'll assign L1 to this L2, indicated by this purple color. This L2 is next. So this one is cut off and then assign L2. This purple color is next pointer to this L1, right? This one, we'll just continue. One more. Merge to list. This L1 and L2. L1 is here, L2 is here. And we'll assign is this L2 become L1.next. What's the final one? We'll just pop that one off of the call stack. The final one is return the result. We're just going to merge L1 and L2. So which one is smaller? L1 is smaller. Boom. That's the final result. I hope this walkthrough, this step-by-step -step walkthrough of this example of merging two sorted linked list will make sense on how the recursive function actually work in computer programs after you write this recursive call. Okay, and then let's talk about time complexity. The time complexity of this program is O 
m plus n. m and n are the length of the two given linked list because we, anyway we have to traverse through every single node of the given two linked lists. So time complexity is still o m plus n. And space complexity, this one is going to be o m plus n as well because we have a call stack. Remember here, this call stack for this example, it adds up. It adds all of the value on top of the call stack. It's going to use o m plus n extra space. That's it. Now we can quickly put this uh, recursive code into the uh, into lead code, the online judge. Let's let it see. If so, first the two base conditions. If L1, let's see. If L1 equals to now, which is to return L2, and if L2 equals to now, which is to return L1. In all other cases, which means neither L1 or L2 is now, so what we'll do is we'll safely access the values. If L1.val is smaller than L2.val, what we'll do is that, which means the node in the current linked list of one is smaller, so we'll move L1 towards the right. In that case, this is the code. Let's see. L1.next and L2 doesn't need to move because L2 is bigger and we'll return L1. In else, else there are two branches. One is two cases. One is L1.val equals to L2.val. The other is L1.val greater than L2.val. In that case, we'll move L2 towards the right. Merge L1, L2.next. Then just return L2. This is the code. You can put the equal sign over here as well. It doesn't hurt anything because the two nodes are equal. Now, let's just hit submit and see. All right, also accepted. Um, that's the entire walkthrough of this recursive function. If you have any comments, questions, just leave me in the comment section below. And also don't forget to hit the like button. That's going to help a lot. And also please subscribe to my channel. That's going to help the channel to grow. I really appreciate it. And don't forget to hit the little bell notification so that each time when I publish a new video, you're not going to miss out on anything. Right now, we're going through a linked list series of lead code problems to help people better prepare for the upcoming coding interviews. And then after this, we'll go through a tree series. And then we'll go through combination of different data structures and algorithms. So you want to hit subscribe button and tap the little bell notification. I'll see you guys in the next one.